Hi, I'm Nicole Berkbigler. I'm 37 years old. I have three wonderful children who are just my ideal of perfect. I couldn't ask for anyone to be have better children than me. Insert sarcasm here. Um, well, like all teenagers, I thought I was invincible. It's never going to happen to me. I could go do whatever I want with no consequences. Well, there was a little bit of a consequence. I was really, really afraid to tell my mom and dad that whenever I just turned, just freshly turned 17 and I had to tell them that I was pregnant. Uh, a lot of family members didn't think that I could do it or were afraid of what how you know being pregnant how that would affect me if I would go to school if I would be a good mom or not and I proved a lot of them wrong um, but it was it was hard because I'd be up with Trevor all night and have to go to school and I had a part-time job my mom and dad helped a lot a lot I don't I couldn't have done it without them um, and it was hard going to school not embarrassing, but you definitely got looked at, especially because I was so intensely large that I couldn't fit into the desk comfortably. But all was worth that whenever I had Trevor. Um, it was a learning experience. You, you grow up, you, you do what needs to be done, and I guess that's really about it. I had Olivia shortly after we were married, our, my second child. Uh, she was a little bit harder than Trevor. Trevor was a mellow, easy child, never got into anything, was, you know, your ideal, very good child. If she would have been my first, she would have been my only because she just got into everything, was a holy terror, but she was a pretty good girl. She, she turned out okay. Um, when I got pregnant with Cooper, first of all, we were done having kids. We didn't really plan on anymore, didn't really want anymore, but God had other plans in, in my life for me. And I had to have Cooper by emergency C-section. Um, and he was okay. He was at the hospital for about 24 hours and they wanted to send him down to West Penn because he was uh, very uh, low birth weight. He did this little shaky thing. His heart wasn't real strong. Um, when he got down at West Penn, within the first, oh, 48, 72 hours, they diagnosed him with, that. they told me for sure that he had Down syndrome. Which, hearing any of that, you kind of take your moment and you cry about it and you fear and you have the absolute worst fear in your mind of like, oh my gosh, they're not going to be capable of doing anything. They're going to be, have a horrible life. What's going to be for my other kids? So you, you get this overcome of, you just don't know what to expect. But whenever you see a little baby that's yours, uh, you know, t fighting whenever they're sickly, um, it gives you a whole new strength of, you know, they didn't cap him off. They didn't say, well, he's only capable of doing this. So it just kind of got me the mentality of, you know, he's my little ball of potential. I'm going to see what he can do. I'm not going to have anybody tell me what he can or can't do. I'm going to, you know, see what he can do for myself and, and help him more along. Uh, his health issues were a lot. He had two holes in his heart. So they sewed one hole shut and they put a patch over the other hole. And that was just a whole new experience to go through when they explain to you that they're going to stop your son's heart and while they're working on it, they're going to put everything through a machine to, to keep him alive and his blood flowing and, and him healthy. So that's, you know, as a parent or as human, you just, you have the worst fear for that also. And he made it through that. He's a trooper. He's a little warrior. Uh, he's overcome a lot of obstacles and every day he's been happy. He is, doesn't have a bad day. I went for a checkup for him to his neurologist or his neurosurgeon and she mentioned that he has um, a something wrong with his cervical spine. So they decided they need to do surgery and take off his C C1, infuse the C2 and C3 together. And in order to do that, uh, for the fusion to work, they had to remove a piece of bone in his rib and put the bone over the wire so it all fused together. And on top of that, he had to be in a halo. He was only two years old at the time. Um, it was, I think it weighed eight pounds total, a, a plastic vest from his hip bones up to here, you know, four metal bars, eight screws in his head. Um, Cooper in the halo, like I said, the, when I first saw it, I was scared, fearful, you think the worst. And shortly thereafter, we brought him home. It was like a week or two before he was up moving. Um, you know, he was sitting in a chair pretty much, had to carry him around a lot. But I would say within a couple weeks, 
you know, he would be sitting there and he'd get his hands and he'd rest it on his halo. And shortly after that, he'd be up dancing, uh, really dancing, clapping his hands, running around, just didn't hold him back. And it, again, just goes to show you that no matter what is thrown at him, he gets through it, he survives, he doesn't cry about it, he was happy and laughing for the most part. Um, when we went out in public, that was always a real treat that people would look at him and be like, oh my gosh, and you know, the look on their face was like, oh my gosh, he's so little, what is that, what happened? And there's Cooper just <laughs> clapping and happy as he could be and, you know, running around, you can't control him and he takes off and, you know, people just couldn't, you know, just, just amazed that this tiny little kid, you know, was able to do this. And yeah, he's celebrated his third birthday, the little things that he teaches me and it's, you know, no matter what, the kid's just always happy. If it could be 1.30 in the morning and, you know, he could be up all night and I, I look at him, hopefully he's asleep and there, there he is just grinning up at me, smiling, just ready to go. But no, it's, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go back and change anything. I, you know, maybe, like I said, give them a little bit more, but I think they turned out okay so far.